Hey everybody, welcome back to Riding with Gravity. I have another tip for you. And it is, uh, it is with respect to something I said about my recording gear. And it is, if you can, if you have the budget for it, uh, definitely recommend that you get a camera and um, you know, mount it somewhere that you're comfortable with and record your rides. Um, you might want that recording for insurance purposes or if in case there's an incident or an accident or something, right? Um, but if it also just helps in terms of um, in terms of learning. Uh, and I really do. I encourage you to record your rides. You don't have to get a full setup and, you know, um, post videos to YouTube like I do and stuff like that. Um, but it's really good to, to look at the footage and see what you're doing. Um, you know, you, you might reflect on your ride and and think about some spots where you you know you could have worked on, you can work on something, and then go ahead and check the footage, you know, see what's going on. I found that really helpful. Um, it's just a nice reminder. Um, so I, I did actually learn a decent amount by watching the recordings of the way I was riding. The other thing is, if, uh, if you're gonna record your rides, it almost, it almost begs that you ride better. And I'll give you a very specific example. I post YouTube videos. Um, I decided to post YouTube videos because when I was finally gonna take the, the rider course and get my license and start riding, I was watching as much content as I could find and I was always wanting more content. Particularly for the Svart Pillin. And so, I figured since I, since I was going to be, um, you know, riding around, I might as well record my rides and contribute uh, some content for people like me who want maybe more Svart Pillin content or more content geared toward new riders or whatever, right? But just more, more footage. Because that's what I was doing when I was working my way up to the course and, and uh, getting my license and everything. I was watching a lot of videos. And I still watch a lot of YouTube videos. Um, it's, you know, if it's raining or something and I can't ride, I'm, you know, just itching for something, I'll, I'll watch YouTube videos of, of motorcycle rides. Uh, so, you know, it's like, hey, I'm going to be riding anyway. I can push a button and, um, and whatnot. But anyway, my point, <laughs> my point is that by doing this, I feel like I have a burden, a healthy burden. Look at this view, isn't this great? This is fall, leaves are changing colors and it is just gorgeous. It's a beautiful day out. Beautiful day out. Um, I felt like I need, I feel like I need to ride with precision so that I can also not just, you know, record some things and share them with you all, but, uh, but hopefully set a good example and not make a ton of mistakes while I'm riding. I do. If I inspected every single YouTube video, I'm sure I could find something that I screwed up, whether it was a hand position on the grip or, you know, turning off my signal or over revving the engine between gears or whatever, right? Like there's tons of things that, that I try to be thinking about all the time so that I can really ride with precision and set a good example. You know, when, I, when I'm riding, I want you to see me use my signals. I want you to see me do a head check. Um, I want to ride in a way where you can, you can see that I'm actually, you know, trying really hard to be good. <laughs> you know, um, not just saying, hey, be safe out there, but, but really trying and practicing and putting in the work. 